Hola, I'm Marisol, Miss Marisol from Butterfly Garden Preserve. And we are going to talk or remember because you know this from before. And maybe you want to practice this at home. So we're gonna do some math. Now, this is the introduction to the decimal system, but in Montessori, we use golden beads material to make it more concrete, right? And I'm gonna show you the golden beads material. Let's start. Um, just one thing. When I teach this in the classroom, the kid is next to me. And because I'm using a cell phone and I don't know how to move it, so I'm going to put the golden beads the way I teach them, pretending the kid is next to me. And then I'm going to put the phone on this side so you can see why I'm doing this direction instead of the other direction, okay? So let's start. The decimal system in the Montessori material, the golden beads, consists in units, tens, hundred, and a thousand. So let's start. This, this is, oops, woo, good catch. This is a unit. It's a one unit. It's a one. So, remember, for the kid, this unit is on the right side. This bar is a 10. This is a 10. Better. This square, it's a 100. And this cube, it's a 1,000. Let's start. Oh, sorry. Before we start with that, I'm going to show you. So, oh, where are they? Uh, like that. Why? You see the one, the unit on the right, the 10 on the left, the 100 on the left, and the 1,000 on the left. Well, because I'm going to give you a, an example. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. This is... Okay, now you can see. Pretend you're going to the store. La, 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 la. And you see a big chocolate. And you want your mom or your dad to buy you the chocolate. So you're like, mom. Can I have this huge chocolate? And your mom is like, hmm, let's see how it costs. So this is the price. Okay, so that's why I'm gonna turn like this. Maybe it's better for you if I turn this like that. So that's why we need to start introducing the ones from the right to the left because when you go to the store and you want to see how much the things cost then if you see only one hmm, it costs the one but if you see another number ah that's a 10 a 10 and one it costs 11 Ooh, but if you see another next to the 10 that's a hundred ah so it costs a hundred and eleven dollars but this is not the end you guys you're gonna see another number 
and that is a thousand. So you know that this huge chocolate, the cost of this huge chocolate is one thousand one hundred and eleven dollars. So that's why the place of the golden material beads are from right to left because that's how we know the quantities are later on when we start doing quantities. Now I'm gonna leave it like this, like that. So that's a unit one, unit one. Can you say one? Unit, unit one. Uh -huh. Now this is a 10 bar. Hmm. Why is it a 10 bar? Because what do you think it happened? They put 10 units together. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 units together make a 10. Next, 100. It looks like a toast, but it's not a toast. It's a 100. Why is it a 100? How many 10s do you need to make a 100? Mm. Mm. Let's see. So we have, wait, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten tens together make a hundred. One hundred. Now I'm gonna ask you a question. How many units do you fit in 100? Yes, 100 units makes 100 square. Last, I love this one, this is my favorite. Thousand cube, look at this. Whew. And it's heavy. If you lift the one, the unit, and the thousand, <coughs> This is super heavy. Now let me ask a question. How many hundreds are in the thousand? Hmm, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <gasps> ten hundreds in the Thousand. Now, how many tens do you think are in here? Hmm. If we count it, let's see. I'm gonna count super fast. Yes. One hundred tens in the thousand. And how many units? are in a thousand. Mm. Mm. Of course. A thousand! Thousand units, thousand one units in the thousand. Okay, you guys, so this is the golden beads, decimal system golden beads material that we use to start working with numbers and being familiar with numbers. Um, the next video will be how do we use the beads to start making quantities, okay? Bye. Adios.